Hi, this is Alec Pasella. I was listening this past week to one of my favorite podcasts, Trekwire. If you haven't checked this one out, gang, you need to. Really, really good, insightful, and timely information from our good friends at Trep. So shout out to my main people, Martha, and Manus, Joe. Keep up the great work, gang. So I think this is the January 15th edition. They had their valuation, one of their valuation people on, Lonnie Henry. And he was talking about the rise in prominence to measures such as gross rent multiplier. So I'm going to talk about what this measure is first, and then we're going to talk about the implications that Lonnie was explaining. At the CSIM Institute, we teach this. We teach gross rent multiplier. We just kind of skip right over it, though, because it's a really simplistic measure. It doesn't have nearly the sophistication or the sexiness of things like cap rate, internal rate of return, capital accumulation. This one's kind of an also ran. However, let's take a look at how this thing really works and explain why that's become much more important over the last 10 months. Value, up at the top. At the bottom, two quadrants, gross rent multiplier. At one quadrant, potential rental income at the other. So the value is simply using this measure, the gross rent multiplier, or a multiple, times potential rental income. So if you think about where we are in the cash flow model, gang, we're up at the very top, right? Potential rental income. What a property is capable of producing if it's 100% leased at market rates? So there's no vacancy, there's no financing, there's no taxation, there's no forward projection or reversion value at the end. This is kind of a here and now, but it's a really simplistic here and now that doesn't really incorporate a lot of the things that occur further down the cash flow model. Now, let's talk about why this has risen in prominence over the last 10 months. The primary reason is turmoil. Think about all the turmoil that's going on as you move down for potential rental income. Vacancy loss, credit loss, expenses. There's a whole lot of uncertainty there going on. And there has been over the last 10 months. So what this does is, is it raises up to the top to where a more certain level is happening, uses a multiple, a multiplier, times that certain of potential income to extrapolate a value. Very interesting, and that's the point that Lonnie made. In times of uncertainty, when there's a lot of economic turmoil and a lot of property-specific turmoil and market turmoil, and we don't know what's going on down the cash flow model, the valuation cream certainly rises to the top. So now you've seen what I see at PVC. Hope you have a wonderful weekend, profitable week ahead. Thanks.